Okay then. The same day, same time as my first video. It's 8 at 2 a.m. on Wednesday, the 16th of December. Oh, the 20. Sorry, Wednesday, the 21st of December, 2016. I'm getting a little bit muddled because I've put too many videos on. Okay, that's no worries. Time to start. To carry on from the last video I did, I put forth. Same sex marriage has nothing to do with love. There's no even idea of love. It's not it's pure, base, cold, hard, Marxist style politics. That's all it is. Politics. And away from the homosexual lobby and Milton gay groups to steal money from the churches, the same as they have stolen money from me. They're trying to steal money from me through Gary Burns. $50,000 to start with. I've put a couple of examples from Canada and Denmark on this, of two countries that have already accepted same-sex marriage and the churches are suffering because of the loss of their religious freedom. This is done by Milton homosexuals who want to shut the churches down and force all churches to accept to marry homosexuals, to marry gays and lesbians. This was, must not happen. We must realise the real reason for this. As I said before, and I'll say again, I'll continually state, it's nothing to do with love. Not all homosexuals want to be married in a church. They're quite happy the way they are. This is only a, a ploy and a smokescreen to cover the real meaning for this same-sex rule. Marriage. The real meaning is to force a homosexual agenda and bring a homosexual totalitarian state and to find churches and you'll get thousands, hundreds, maybe not thousands, but you'll get hundreds of hopefuls dive in and, find, and try to find the churches so they can steal money. The same as that man who took me to court and got awarded $50,000. That's only a setup for this. Look what's happening in Canada. Look what's happening in Denmark. Read what's going on over in Western countries, which were once free and easy countries. Ah, oh, shut up, dog. How's the dog barking? I'm walking down the street. Look what's happening. This will happen in Australia. No problems at all. Once they get same-sex marriage passed into legislation, it's not for the benefit of homosexuals, it's not for the benefit of straights, it's for the benefit of no one but the thieves and robbers like the man who took me to court and who wants to steal money from the churches and for other people. It is a cop-out. We don't want, we don't need, and we must not have a same-sex marriage. It will bring persecution to all churches. They will force themselves upon us so they can so they can take us to court and sue us. It may not happen straight away. They'll wait the time. These people are legally minded and these people are ed highly educated. They're not poor people. This is a plan for a homosexual agenda and we must realise that. We must realise that. I will remain on this issue. I will stick firm to this and warn all Christians in Australia, not only Christians, other religions as well, non-Christian religions as well, that don't like man and man and woman and woman getting married, that believe in the traditional marriage. We're coming in for persecution and same-sex marriage is going to persecute, persecute people. This is a total agenda, and I am trying to raise everyone's awareness in the whole of Australia to really understand the issue. If we don't bite this in the butt right now, we let it go, five, ten years down the track, we'll be very, very sorry that we've done it. Man, I believe in traditional marriage. 
one man, one woman, above the age of consent, or the age of the legal age, which is 18 at the moment in Australia, not of the same genetic code. In other words, brother, sister, first and first cousin, mother, daughter, father, son. No, that is not on. That's there's other reasons for that, medical reasons and genetic reasons. But anyone else, as long as it is one man and one woman. Married for the purpose of them bearing children and also having a lifetime partner which they can love and be part of their lives. We must stick to that. We must not let these militant homosexuals browbeat brow bushes into accepting same sex marriage, otherwise, we will be in a very dire situation. The churches, which don't accept same-sex marriage, more than likely will get homosexuals who want to get married for the simple reason being so they can take them to court and sue them. Not because they, not because they want anything genuine, because they want to shut the churches down, they'll take them to court and sue them. This is very, very dangerous and we must fight the homosexual militants. Fight those groups to the very last drop and not give in. Thank you very much and bye for now.